Hi, good morning. Today we are live from Nasdaq. You are looking at the tape, live tape, uh, two stocks, Netflix and Green Mountain Coffee. Green Mountain Coffee has been going down every single week. And you are aware of why the Green Mountain Coffee shares had to crash and you had to have and to maintain a very large short position on the stock. You just have to refer to my comments in 2014, calling a multi-year top in this American company, and then in 2015, reiterating strong sell, betting on the collapse. And meanwhile, if you investigate, uh, if you do your homework, you are going to find that lawyers are all over this company for fundamental reasons. So today you have new laws in Green Mountain Coffee. Meanwhile, uh, in the past couple of weeks and yesterday, I uh, issued uh, several uh, trade alerts in Netflix. I was uh, the first one to downgrade Netflix uh, to neutral when shares they traded up to $688, recommending to uh, reduce the very large investment position in Netflix. And this was ahead of the top in Netflix. Thereafter, uh, before yesterday, I again recommended to reduce the size of the investment position in Netflix at $699 when the company announced the, what everyone already knew that was going to happen, the uh, split. And yesterday, other call recorded live at 706 and 18 cents, precisely the top so far in Netflix. And today in the morning, you have shares of Netflix at $660, which is not a surprise. And moreover, you have uh, analyst downgrading Netflix, which is also not a surprise since everyone follows what we have been saying here for years. I'm the one that has been behind the return on investment uh, almost 6,000% in Netflix. I created Netflix history and again yesterday and the past weeks I proved with my recommendations given completely for free on Twitter uh, for those that they are following us uh, live. All right. So today, if you are bullish Netflix, you can buy the stock at 660, by far a better price than, you know, at $700 or 699, I would say. All right. So that is your problem. It is your concern. It is not mine. I've been very explicit when to reduce the size of long positions in Netflix. Also, I have a comment to make. Yesterday, during Netflix uh, live streaming presentation, for those that they are subscribers, and also free live streaming available on the website, I announced that at $699, if you remember when uh, I gave the alert in Netflix at $706 and 18 cents, the shares they in a matter of less than 30 seconds, they collapsed to 687. And then they bounced to $699. And I told you, if you have a long position, sell now. If you still have a long position, sell now. And go short the stock, 699. So today you have shares at $660. This represents a wonderful profit on the short side. All right? So analysts, they were going to downgrade Netflix because they, you know, it's something that I already announced and you knew about it. So you had the opportunity to make a wonderful profit also on the short side. And this on top of my announcement, for example, last week in Ambarella, or you have plenty of recalls. Uh, for example, I believe it was before yesterday, also announcing some profit taking in Amazon at $446, today you had Amazon at $437, okay? So these are important things that you have to be aware, they are completely free, available, for those that they follow us on uh, Twitter. 
So congratulations for all those that they have been betting on Green Mountain Coffee uh, collabs. Uh, I do have some further comments to make with regards to certain things here uh, that involve these two uh, companies. The first is uh, yesterday I read quite a lot of comments about people that they are envy with regards to why uh, some investors they dumped shares of Netflix uh, you know, above $700. My friends, uh, I quite frankly don't understand why people are, for example, against Carl Icahn who made you a favor uh, telling that by saying that he sold the remaining position that he had in Netflix. I think that uh, uh, Carl Icahn was uh, trying to help you when uh, uh, precisely by informing you about it. So today you have the confirmation of it, as we told you. You know, instead of buying uh, Netflix at $700, my friends, today you have Netflix at a discount for dollars per share, all right? So completely different. I, I agree with Carl Icahn, and I think again that he made you a favor, as we did, uh, in fact, ahead of this announcement, uh, because we were the first to downgrade Netflix to neutral at six hundred eighty-eight dollars, and it, so you knew that all this was there was a plan, and in particular subscribers, to uh, get rid of Netflix. But no one here has anything against Netflix, uh, because Netflix remains a great uh, company, a wonderful investment in the past years. In fact, the single best performer in the market, uh, historical performer ever in the markets, Netflix, it is one of the companies, along with others like Apple and so on. And if you visit the website stockmarketlife.tv, you also find that, uh, like Carl Icahn recommended, and we were the first, in fact, to recommend it, you could have rotated some capital out of Netflix into Apple, and if you did it, at least you didn't lose money because Apple, meanwhile, you know, didn't crash or didn't pull back $40 per share while Netflix was going to do so. So, my friends, these uh, were announcements made live in the blog of the company, okay? Ahead of anyone else, ahead of uh, Mr. Carl Icahn, because, uh, you know, people are following our indications. With regards to Green Mountain Coffee, the announcement that uh, we made last year, and also in 2015, my comments are very simple. Uh, again, uh, but this on the opposite direction, so Netflix is one thing and uh, Green Mountain Coffee, completely different uh, case, okay, it's the inverse in fact. Green Mountain Coffee, quite frankly, I don't understand how is it possible that, uh, you know, an investor or uh, they proclaim or claim themselves to be investors in the market or traders or professional traders or even individuals without experience, they didn't have or they don't have a short position in Green Mountain Coffee. We posted an article on the website of the company. The shares, if you visit the website, and this is public, uh, the shares they were trading, you know, at $94 and higher. The first tweets, live tweets, free live tweets that I sent to the public about Green Mountain Coffee, the shares, they were trading above $100. Today, they are trading at $78.90. So, all of you had plenty of time to sell short the most Green Mountain Coffee. If you wanted to sell short Green Mountain Coffee at $156, that is a different matter. You had to be a subscriber. But if you don't want to be a subscriber, you had Green Mountain Coffee at $100 plus to sell short the stock because I was announcing it public that you had the tremendous opportunity to sell short one of the best companies or one of the best companies on the short side in the US stock market. This announcement was made several times during, I don't know how many days, 
over and over live on Twitter. So why people, they are losing money in the markets? I mean, like I uh, addressed in one of the examples uh, in Ambarella, uh, where the investment uh, direction, it was the long side. That is to say, I announced a strong buy at 52 and then went to take profits uh, above $125 an half. I mean, those that they attempt to sell short Green Mountain Coffee, sorry, uh, Ambarella, during the bull market phase, you lost all your money. Here, the same situation. If you have been trying, you know, buying Green Mountain Coffee at $100, $95, $90 and so on, you lost all your money. But that, you already knew that was going to happen. So, why people, they, you know, prefer for some unknown reason, stupidity in fact, to bet on the opposite direction where they should have been since the very beginning, it is completely of your concern. So I, uh, I'm very proud and happy, as well as subscribers and those following us for free on the blog of the company and on Twitter, that all those that they didn't uh, 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 follow the guidance, they lost their money because you deserve entirely your losses. You deserve entirely your losses if you bought Netflix at $700 plus. You deserve to lose money. I mean, we have been repeating here in the blog of the company to quadruple the size of investment positions in Netflix these several months ago during the course of 2015. Already last year in 2014, and before, you had me saying that Netflix will be a tremendous opportunity, a buying opportunity, and it at any price near 309. So today, in, in, in 2015, you had shares of Netflix at $320. $320. So you are going to buy a stock at $700. Plus, man, for God's sake, so you had a company that created this history, Netflix, telling you that, you know, where you should buy Netflix, where you should quadruple the size of investment position Netflix in 2015, calling the button in Netflix. You had the same opportunity, for example, in Yoico, when Deutsche Bank downgraded the shares around $13. We were upgrading to strong buy multi-year uh, button. It is ahead of a rally of 300% in Yoico. So why are you then going to buy Yoico, for example, at $31 or Netflix at $700? Quite frankly, it is not comprehensive because you had that opportunity available completely for free at stockmarketlive.tv. So the same situation with regards to Green Mountain Coffee. You had the opportunity to sell short the stock, even as a non-subscriber, above $100. Today you have shares at the new lows in 2015. I repeat, new lows. So those that they have been trying, you know, <coughs> where their <coughs> objective or their aim, it has been precisely the opposite, you deserve entirely your losses, okay? So then, as shares they collapse in Green Mountain Coffee, if you wish to take some profits, you take some profits on the short side, but you never, Never buy shares, no, of Green Mountain Coffee above $100, my friends. When the company was telling you that the shares they were going to collapse. So you have to refer to the articles and the videos, explaining step by step and proving the calls that they were made here. Proving the calls, because no one else does this. So you have today the example precisely in Netflix that we were the first to downgrade Netflix to neutral and those that they downgrade, that is Wall Street analysts, they downgrade Netflix, they downgrade after, you know, the stock uh, sells off or shares they sell off. So it's not the same to downgrade Netflix at $700 or $690 and to downgrade at $660. It is not the same. There is a huge difference between timing, between, you know, <coughs> entries and exits and these offers you a competitive advantage and this is the competitive advantage that we have and the reason why I've been repeating here for years, 20 years, the concept of zero risk, my friends, the concept of zero risk, it is proven precisely on all the calls that we made. 
So no one told you to buy Netflix at $700 plus or when we were downgrading the stock to neutral. Also, our calls in Netflix is not regarding, uh, you know, trying to call a top. I mean, we are not concerned with tops in Netflix or bottoms, all right? It's not about tops and bottoms. It's about a clear investment strategy, a plan that we have had for years in Netflix. And if I started to get rid of Netflix for some reason, I thought that, you know, I was happy with the results. And probably an individual, an investor like Kai like Khan, a billionaire in the US, he considered the same, okay, at the same prices. So I think that both of us made you a huge favor by informing you when to start reducing the size of investment positions in Netflix. To maintain a quadruple investment position in Netflix, you know, but knowing that the shares they were, you know, going to uh, pull back, it didn't, it didn't make sense. So you had to reduce the size of investment position. If you want to remain an investor for the long term, I mean, nothing is wrong with Netflix at this point, okay? Uh, no, at this point, nothing is wrong. Maybe the company is going to miss next, next earning, but, uh, you know, we don't have inside information, all right? For that, you have to contact uh, Netflix investor relation, all right? So having said this, uh, um, you know, the market uh, continues offering to investors endless opportunities every single day. Netflix, it was one more. Green Mountain Coffee, one more. And uh, I would like to congratulate all of you that have been here following the guidance given for free at st stockmarketlive.tv, not only with regards to Netflix, Umbrella, Facebook, uh, Amazon, you know, Voltaire, uh, Green Mountain Coffee. You, know, you have Shake Shack, you have plenty of information in the blog of the company, in live on Twitter, in uh, Humana, uh, Signa, today new all-time highs. I mean, endless opportunities, every single day, every single week. And the question is always the same, what are you doing? So uh, the information that is then live, given in real time, my friends, for all those that they want to. And by the way, my, you know, once again, I repeat, uh, for example, today you have a new low in this wonderful opportunity on the short side that I've been discussing for years. Transos, <coughs> you have the stock at $16.10. and No, $16.10 down every single day. I mean, from $58 or so all the way down to $16.10, recently there was other downgrade. We downgrade the stock at $21.88. So today you have shares of Transocean at $16.10. My friends, every single day goes down. All right, so you didn't have plenty of time to sell short Transocean. I mean, I think that even Mr. Carl Icahn saw that Transocean was going down. He didn't tell you to buy shares of Transocean because he knew that Transocean was likely to go down. All right, so I mean, I think that investors, they buy shares after they collapse and not then after they rally or after they bounce. I mean, it's completely different, right? Think so. Congratulations, in fact, to also to Mr. Carl Icahn to bail out and to close the position in Netflix. I think that he did very well because then he can buy Netflix at some point at, you know, lower prices, you know, like today or before or tomorrow or next week or next month when, uh, you know, retail will be capitulating and selling again, at lower prices to the best investors in the world. And this is the game that you have been aware for years. You just have to follow the indications that they have been uh, available there by, you know, Mr. Carl Icahn or uh, live on stockmarketlive.tv. Uh, but, uh, you know, to invest in companies where you have legal issues, like the case of Green Mountain Coffee, that I already disclosed. I mean, if you have questions, there are plenty of... Uh, law firms in the US that probably they are willing to explain to you what the problems are in Green Mountain Coffee. So why the stupidity of investors trying to call buttons every single day in shares of Green Mountain Coffee? You remember two weeks ago, I had an idiot saying that he wanted to buy shares of you know, Green Mountain Coffee at $85. I mean, you can buy a Green Mountain Coffee at $85, you can buy it today at 78, uh, 79 
78 and 79, it is by far better than 85. You know, uh, you know the, the reason is always the same. The more they l go down, you know, better it is. So the guy that bought at 85, today is navigating into losses. He fully deserves it because I never upgraded shares of Green Mountain Coffee. I said, this is going to crash. Fully short, fully short, short on margin, my friends. Today you have new lows. I mean, but, you know, I'm not recommending now to sell short Green Mountain Coffee. Like I said, you had Green Mountain Coffee at $100 plus, you had Green Mountain Coffee at $95, $90.85, and so on. So why are you going to sell short today? It does not make sense. You know, several weeks. It is there on the chart. You just have to type the chart. And you are going to see that every single week Green Mountain Coffee goes down. So why are you going to sell short the stock today at a new all-time low in 2015? Does not make sense. Every single week you had the stock going down. I mean, do you understand the, 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 the reasoning? So the same situation happened in, in Sears Holding. You had the stock collapsing every single week, the stock going down. I mean, yeah, plenty of time to sell short. You had plenty of time to buy Netflix. So why are you going to buy Netflix at $700? Because a Wall Street analyst is upgrading Oppenheimer, for example, to $775. Do you know that Oppenheimer, it was the company, you know, behind the upgrade in GCP, to strong buy before or ahead of the total collapse to single digits. They had strong buy ratings in GCP. Né? So, I mean, you have to, you know, you don't know the, this. I mean, if you don't know this, what are you doing in the markets? Yeah, that is the question. If you are not aware of these facts, because you just have to Google, what are you doing in the markets, you know? So why a company like Oppenheimer would be credible? I mean, did they call a button several years ago at 5286 in, in Netflix, calling Netflix the single best investment ever in, in, in the US market? No. Did, have they been uh, right about Netflix ever? No. So what they've been doing? You know, many of these guys, what they've been doing is to chase the momentum in Netflix. But then, you know, when the real investors, they bailed out, they sold shares or started selling shares, you know, they, they don't have other choice than to follow downgrades you know, and to sell. And this is what is happening in Netflix. Because they were late to the game, their risk automatically increased in Netflix. And so today you have Netflix, you know, giving back some profits, which is normal. But, you know, $661 is just the stock give back $50 per share. You know, it's not even 10%. It's completely normal. There is nothing wrong with Netflix, right? Now, again, I repeat, the situation in Green Mountain Coffee, it is a completely different matter. I mean, you don't cannot compare, you know, uh, Netflix to Green Mountain Coffee, okay? Green Mountain Coffee, there was a downgrade and a rating, strong sell. In Netflix, we didn't say, you know, this is a strong sell, at most we downgraded to neutral, because Netflix, you know, gained substantially to a point where we considered, okay, we are happy with the, you know, the, the, to have profits taken here, okay? But Green Mountain Coffee, my friends, if you have been investing or buying Green Mountain Coffee, you are, you know, you are a criminal. You are a criminal. Because, you know, you just have to refer to the video that I uh, published on the web that has been available for months. And that video is very, very clear. I offered you $100 million dollars to prove that the information there, it is not genuine or legitimate $100 million. So why are you going to spend your money in Green Mountain Coffee if you have the opportunity to win $100 million? You just have to prove that the information that I disclosed there, it is not genuine. So it's, it's simple. Why? I mean, do you understand? It's so simple, this, that, you know, only, uh, you know, it's, it's not... Even necessary to be an idiot is, it, you know, is I, 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 I quite frankly is, you know, is, is beyond comprehension. Is someone has to be completely, you know, mad. I, I, I repeat, I offered the 100 million dollars to prove that the information it was not genuine, legitimate. So why were you going to buy Green Mountain Coffee? That does not make sense. The same I said, you know, a couple of months ago about Apollo Group. 
So why people who are going to buy Apollo Group if the shares they were going to collapse, to melt down? Does not make sense, all right? I offered you $1 million there in Apollo Group and you had more. Uh, so, I mean, I, you know, what are you doing? You know, the question is always the same. What the fuck are you doing, my friend? You start using your brain because if you don't, I mean, you have, you go to stockmarketlive.tv and you have there a partnership with one of the best companies, you know, a brain training program. We have the solution for you. Brain training program. We have all the tools, my friends. You know, we, this is so fun. We are, this is fun. We have lots of fun. We have lots of fun in Umbrella, Netflix, you know, Green Mountain Coffee. As I speak, Green Mountain Coffee, new all-time lows, you know, in 2015. $78.66. Go over, go over, buy, buy. This is what you want. The thrill of, you know, the calling the button in Green Mountain Coffee. The thrill of, you know, uh, you, were, you were buying, you know, Netflix at $700 because you, want, you, you, you thought that you were smart and Netflix was going to, you know, $800. And you were, uh, you know, uh, uh, arguing with short sellers on message boards. I mean, for God's sake. Where were you when Netflix was, you know, $55 or $60? Where were you? The question is that, you were, where were you? You were nowhere. You know, at that point, Netflix was called a dog. You know, today is one of the best companies in the world. The best, in fact, in, in live streaming. You know, so, in stock market, we are the best in live streaming. Trading, which is a different sector, but same, all right? So congratulations to all those that follow the indications here in Netflix, Green Mountain Coffee. And remember this, you have to be very careful in the stock market because there are companies, I already told you, trading or priced at absurd valuations. So don't complain later. Don't complain then, you know, if you don't have time to sell. I mean, as stocks advance, you should reduce or take some profits. It is normal, okay? Because, you know, the Federal Reserve, it has been helping you, in fact. It has been helping to bail out many of the losers in the markets, uh, you know, several years ago that they uh, maintain a long position during a crash. So today, you know, as shares advance, don't uh, believe in miracles and uh, take some profits. I mean, even Jim Cramer in the US is telling you, take some profits. I mean, take some profits because you know, even a fucking fool he knows about, you know, about this. Everyone knows about this. The Federal Reserve has been helping you, my friends. Has been helping you while maintaining asset price at ridiculous, uh, at ridiculous uh, levels. But don't consider or believe that one day they are going there to be there you know, bailing you out because what he's been doing is precise to help or to, you know, to fuel all this speculation. But, you know, investors like I, like, and like I or others or subscribers, they know about all this. They've been precisely making the most, quadrupling, having quadruple long positions in Netflix all the way up to prices that we considered. For example, in Netflix, we, I knew, I informed you about the stock split. The stock was going to split. There was no other choice. It was going to be in 2015 or 2016 because Netflix, uh, the stock itself, does not make sense without a split. All right. After the company made all this, it has to protect the, itself in the sense to reduce the volatility. Otherwise, for example, without the split, you know that, for example, without splits, you have volatility like this, you know, in a matter of le less than 24 hours, you have shares down uh, $50 per share. We don't, nothing changed, right? But you have shares down $50 per share. Yesterday they were 706. Today you have them at 660. So you have to be happy for the fact that the company, you know, listened and announced the, the split. It protects then investors, you know, the retail that is then, you know, wants to buy Netflix. So if you want to buy next Netflix, Probably it is better, I know, I would say, uh, you have to contact Jim Kramer, but uh, I would say that probably you have to wait for the split, right? I mean, wait for the split and then you will see. I mean, this is so simple. I, it is, this is simple. It's people, they complicate, you know. So why people, they lose money in the markets? I don't know. I, you have to ask them, you know, the information it is there, free, you know, for, free of charge, <laughs> free of charge. 
So uh, thank you and good luck uh, going forward in the markets.